Hi, I'm going to show you a little bit about the indirect function in Excel. And this is Excel 2007, but it should be the same for all versions. Uh, what the indirect function is, or what it does, is it returns the reference specified by a text string. So what does that mean? Uh, a reference is like this. In cell A1, I'm going to say equal to cell D2. And that refers to cell D2 to show the value. So what is a text string? Here in cell A3, I'm going to type D2. That's a text string, D2. So in cell A1, if I say equal to cell A3, the reference is equals A3. So it's going to return the text value that's in A3. It is not going to say equals D2 and therefore refer to cell D2 and return the value of D2. It's going to return the value from A3. That is unless you use the indirect function. So let's try it out. Equals indirect. Now the reference cell here, cell A3, close parentheses. And now it refers to cell D2. The reason is A3 has the value, string value of D2 and the indirect function changes the string into a reference. Therefore A1 now equals what the value is in D2. One thing you can do with indirect is change the worksheet reference using a text string. So let's try it out. I'm going to refer to sheet 3, cell A1. So here I'm going to type sheet 3, and here I'm going to type A1. And uh, before I show you that, I'm going to just remind you that when Excel is referring to a different worksheet, it has the sheet name and an exclamation, and then the cell value. So keep that in mind when we're writing our indirect. All right, I'm going to refer to cell A2. Use the AND symbol, quote, exclamation, which means it's a worksheet. And then I'm going to add the cell it's looking for, which will be A1. And see the result. Hello world, sheet 3, cell A1 says hello world. OK. So uh, what's this good for? Um, you can use the result of formulas or user input to change the reference in other formulas. We can go into specific examples in future videos uh, if there's any interest. If you like this video, um, check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. And uh, post questions if you have them.